Culture. 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 We celebrate pride. of so many people and all their identities like coming together as a community. It's really incredible and like empowering too. Yeah. It's great to be in Montreal to be gay right now and it makes us want to help people around the world who don't have what we have. It is the 12th Montreal Pride Parade. In the parade this year we got at minimum 9,000 people. This year it has been the biggest parade ever in Montreal. It's been huge. We are very proud that it has been very big. And we this year we put women up front and trans women because historically gay, uh, white male were put up front. Now we need to work with the minorities, with trans people, with non-binary people, uh, with uh, migrant trans people because those people don't have much voice. So we're working to give them the visibility that we, we have with pride. Female representation in the world, not just in an LGBTQ plus context, is a really important and pressing issue as we've seen in the past year. And uh, that is true whether or not you work in somewhere like Hollywood or you live in Montreal and you're a queer woman. So I would say that um, making sure that women are heard is a priority of ours. Personally, just being a woman and being able to kind of like claim my space in the community, for me personally, that was like kind of the most important thing. Well, it's all about the communities. The Montreal Museum of Fine Arts is uh, engaged with over uh, 400 communities. And Pride is just one of our community that we want to be engaged and uh, be an ally to the community and like their struggle. walking with them. I think it was really great. We won some legal battles uh, for to, to get married, uh, to get recognized, but we still have some fights to do. Trans people have a lot of difficulty to get their sex changed legally. And we also need to work on racism in our community. We need to be more open to other cultures, even between us, to make sure that in, in all the world, we can help each other and get the, the rights that we deserve. What I love about this parade is it's probably one of the most inclusive parades you can get. And I think now more than ever, the fact that we're celebrating diversity, celebrating minority groups of all kinds, is an incredibly important statement to be making. Representing the, uh, the association of a retired person, gay person. All gay people go to, could be uh, the same thing than the straight people. Black, gay, and all kind of people you must enjoy to be uh, their self. It's important to know what we stand for. We stand for equality, so it was amazing. It's amazing, but uh, if we have an advice, don't wear heels. It's not that comfortable. No, I had heels and I regret it. Yeah. <laughs> we were marching with the Girl Guides. Yeah, this is the first time that uh, Girl Guides Quebec got to march in the parade, and I've been part of it all my life. So to be able to merge kind of like Girl Guides plus my drag and just being super proud to be queer was absolutely amazing. This is my first Montreal Pride, so I'm just like jazzed to be here and it's it's it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. so much more than I could have ever anticipated. And just to be in the thick of that and see everybody just like come together and express themselves, how they choose to express themselves, but also be accepting of people around them and just all having fun. As you can tell, people who are here are here in celebration. They're here to raise their voices. You know, some are more political than others, some are engaged differently, but ultimately everyone is here to be a part of something bigger than themselves. And uh, I would say that for that reason, Montreal is, is pretty supportive.
The parade was just magic. We never had so many people, so many cultures re represented. So we're so proud of that. It was full of love. I love it.